Matt Roloff threw a major curveball in last week's episode of Little People Big World. After tons of back and forth with his ex-wife, he decided to not move forward with purchasing Amy's share of the North Side, the area that they co-own. This comes after Matt reminded Amy that the sale would also mean buying her out of the 20-year business she's built with him. There's no pumpkin business without the land, and there's no land without the pumpkin business, he told her. After telling Amy that the sale would get rid of any memory of 20 years ago, she understandably got emotional. Still, there's no resolution in sight. Matt felt that Amy was taking too long to make her decision, and decided not to live in limbo. Amy later revealed that she gave him a counteroffer, but he turned it down. Their son Zog voiced his concerns about the situation, but concluded that he and his twin brother Jeremy don't have time to deal with their parents' drama. Fans of the show had a similar reaction, sharing their thoughts and feelings on Matt's latest Instagram post, an unrelated picture of his granddaughter Lila. Fans loaded the comments with their own take on the situation. Some feel for Matt, who just wants a sense of closure. Matt is right, Amy's engaged and chose to move off the farm, and these joint assets need to be divided or sold and dealt with, one fan commented. I'm team Matt, move on Amy please, another echoed. Others empathize with Amy, stressing that you can't put a price or timeline on such an emotional decision. Amy put many years into that farm and raising the kids, just as much as you. Raising kids is a full-time job and many hours of work. You need to back off and give her the time she needs to make a decision when she is ready. It's not all about you. I don't care if you have to wait. She deserves to be 100% comfortable with her decision and have all the time she needs," someone wrote. But a majority of commenters just want the former couple to feel a sense of peace, no matter how or when that comes. I love both you guys, but if you have been separated since 2014 and this is 2020, I get your frustration. That is a long time to drag something out. I think you both feel better once everything is 100% done," one person commented. While the sale of the farm is very much real, it's hard to know if things are as tense in real life as they appear on TV. Earlier this year, he told In Touch Weekly that they both know how to create drama for good TV's sake. Unfortunately, some people don't get the humor in all that, they take it real seriously, they get mad at one of us. But it's all just sort of poking each other in the rib to create some drama, he continued. That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.